Hello there. I'm super excited to talk to you today about Nestor, your Slack team's programmable bot. If you're an existing Nestor user, the big change from version 1 is that Nestor is now completely programmable by you, giving your team superpowers to automate the mundane in your workplace. In this video, I'll demonstrate a few of the powerful features that Nestor provides. So let's get right to it. In this screen, we see a couple of apps that have been installed for our team. Hello is a simple app that I made, and Jiffy is an app that comes by default with Nestor for all of your GIF needs. Let's take a closer look at Hello. Now, this is a super simple app, and if the JavaScript code looks familiar to you, it's because it is based on the popular Hubot API. So if you have any existing Hubot scripts, it should be very easy to port them to Nestor. We can try out this app in the browser by entering a command here and hitting run or command R and ta-da, our simple hello app works. This is a very trivial app though. So let's try something a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna create an app that given an email address, finds the Twitter handle for that user and the number of followers he or she has. We're gonna use the Clearbit API for this, for which I have an API key. So let's get started. In the interest of time, I'm gonna paste the code for the bulk of this app and we can go through it. Great. The entry point for this app is the robot.respond method which takes as an argument a regular expression that matches the command we want handled. In the callback to robot.respond, we then extract the email from the regular expression and make a call to the Clearbit API. Since the API is authenticated, we need to use a key here. And as good developers, we should not hard code the key, but instead use environment variables to store the secret. The reason why this is especially important is because we may choose to share our app with other Nestor users in the future, and we don't want our secrets to be leaked. We'll save that API key in just a second, but to complete going through the rest of the code, we basically parse the response from the API and get the Twitter handle and the follower count and send it back to the user. Great, let's now plug in that API key. So we go into the environment tab, and basically plug in a value for clearbit API key. Once that's done, we hit save, and to try out the app, we again go to the run section of the app. Uh, I'm gonna use my own email address, and boom, it works. So this is all great, but how does this integrate with Slack? We need to deploy the app, and so to do that, we go to the History tab. Find the relevant version, and in this case, it's the most recent version, and hit Deploy. Once that's done, we can go to Slack itself and try out the command right there. So Twitter me, and there you have it. In just a few seconds, we were able to deploy a bot app and get it running. That was a quick demo of Nestor's capabilities. There's lots more great functionality coming and we are super excited to get this in the hands of lots and lots of Slack teams. Sign up today for early access at v2.asknestor.me and thanks for watching.